Hey, what's up everybody? J. Scott Helms here and today we're going to take another dive into my library and look at a few books that might help you with your kettlebell training. Let's swing it. So a couple days ago, I did a, a quick video on uh, books that you could have at home to help you with workouts from home if you're not able to get to the gym or you're having trouble finding gear. And I wanna continue on with that, but I'm gonna to focus today on, say, one piece of equipment, and that's gonna be kettlebells. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love to train with kettlebells and have for a while, um, but it all started for me with a book. I had certainly seen people use kettlebells. I had seen them in gyms I'd been in, but I didn't know anybody who was, say, a expert or was certified in kettlebells. So a lot of the advice was hit or miss. It was all over the place. I watched some videos, but I actually ran across one book that really piqued my interest and really got me going. And that book is this one, Tracy Rifkin's The Swing. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. So I ran across this book online. Uh, I ended up picking up a used copy of it and read it cover to cover. I've actually read it several times now and have a couple of copies of it because I've just destroyed the original one. Um, but if you're looking to get into it and if you're like me, you don't have a trainer nearby that specializes in kettlebells or if the gym you go to doesn't specialize in kettlebells, this is a great place to start. Now, if you don't know anything about Tracy, she's got a lot of videos on YouTube. You can look her up. Um, there's a lot of writing on the internet about her, and she is the queen of the swing. She is fantastic. So, reading this book, it's not a long book. It's a couple hundred pages, 215, um, and the bulk of that focuses on the swing uh, and some variations of it. But it's a great place to start. She knows what she's talking about. She is great at what she does. Um, and again, you can even look up some of her videos. She has a DVD series out there. Some of them are kind of hard to find, but I recommend starting with the book. Um, you can pick this up used. I'll put links down below, but you can pick it up. A new copy is about 15 bucks. Used, you can get them for a few dollars, four or five bucks. Um, but if it's something you're looking to getting into or you want to expand your knowledge, Tracy Rifkin's The Swing is a great place to start. It's also a great book to have in your home library. You can refer back to it. Uh, there are a lot of pictures. She goes through and breaks down the moves. She also has a fair amount, trying to find it, sorry, uh, a fair amount of programming on how to adjust yourself to doing the swing. How many to do, how often to do them, different ways of doing it. So again, this is the first place I would start if you were gonna start with the book, okay? And again, I will put links down below to every book I show you today. So that's number one. The second book I purchased, as I said, that Tracy's book mostly covers the swing and a couple of variations of it. She does talk about some other stuff, but uh, doesn't dig too deep in that book. So the next book I purchased after doing some reading was a book uh, by Jeff Martone called Kettlebell RX. Now, here's a full shot of the book. Okay. Um, this is readily available on Amazon. You can find used copies at Thrift Books on eBay. Um, but this book is, as you read the description about it, which you're not going to be able to do from here, but it's kind of a, it's kind of geared towards trainers. And that's one of the reasons I liked it. It really breaks down the moves and it covers a lot of different stuff. So let me flip open the front here just to give you an idea. So we've got mobility and flexibility and it covers everything from your neck to your knees all the way down. It's got a whole section on the swing or different swings. Uh, power swings, you've got the Turkish Get Up series, uh, overhead series, and then Kettlebell RX program design. So it moves on into like rotational power and a little bit of history on the kettlebell. But this book is fantastic in the sense, let's see if I can get it to do it here. 
but you have tons of pictures. The moves are broken down really well. The book is color, glossy pages. I've had this book for about a year. It's held up really well. Actually a little longer than that probably, but it's held up and I use it quite often. But it goes through, I would say at least 20, 25 different moves. And it's everything like I said, swings, get-ups, military presses. It's a great book. It's not very old. I think it's from 2013 or 14, 2012. So this is a great one. If you're looking to add moves to your repertoire, if you're looking to expand what you can do or variations, this is a great book. All right, again, I'll link down below. So after I had trained for a while, felt like I had gotten to a really good spot with the swing, the two-handed swing, the one-handed swing, um, Turkish get-ups, presses of all sorts. Um, I started looking for something to work all of that into a routine, into complexes or into a series of movements that I could make miniature workouts out of, say five moves to do a good half-hour workout, um, kind of like AMRAP workouts. Um, and so as I dug around, I actually ran across a guy who I think is a kettlebell master. His name is Taco Fleur. He has probably 20 books on the subject. He has a website cavemantraining.com and all of his books are available on Amazon. In fact, when you go to his website, I believe they all link back to Amazon. But this particular book has 40 workouts or wads in it and they range from everything from beginner to double kettlebell advanced workouts. So you can see mine, I have probably 30 bookmarks in there on different workouts. And this one does have a lot of video links. I'll just flip through and give you an idea. But he walks through all the moves on just about every workout you would be doing. There are also some writings on each individual move or workout. And there are a lot of links back to YouTube to see the full workout being done by him or one of his instructors. Um, the guy knows his stuff. He's great. I actually have several of his books, but I brought this one out today because it's a good one to start. It has several beginner workouts in it, and the videos are very high quality, and they do walk through and explain the moves. But Taco Floor's Kettlebell Workouts and Challenges 2.0. There is a 1.0, and I have the book, but it's in such bad shape I don't, think, I don't think I could hold it up and have it stay intact. But 1.0 also has a lot of good beginner workouts. I chose this one today because it, this particular book has more workouts in it. So again, these are available on his website, cavemantraining.com. A lot of videos on YouTube if you just look up Taco Fleur, and it's uh, Taco, just like it sounds, F-L-E-U-R. The guy's great. All right, so third, when you're really looking to bear down and master some movements, it's hard not to go with Pavel Tatsuin. The guy is amazing. He's kind of credited with bringing kettlebells or introducing kettlebells to the U.S. This is a book that I covered in my last video briefly, Simple and Sinister. It covers three moves and three moves only and some workouts that you can do with just those three moves. And if you think three moves with a kettlebell won't destroy you, pick a copy up and try it. This is a really good book. Like I said I breezed through it in my last video, but it's color, glossy pages, lots of pictures, lots of instruction. There are some workouts and some very detailed understanding of each and every move. Um, there's a couple of versions of this book out there. This is the newer one, revised and updated. I think it's from 2016 or so. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't see it right off the top of my head, but I will link to this version and the other versions. Um, new, this book is about $17.95, something like that. You can pick it up used for around $10 or $12. might be a little cheaper if you find someone just getting rid of them. But this is a great book, worth every penny. Pavel is a, is a master. Again, he has lots of videos on YouTube. But I highly recommend the book just to have in your library. It's a great reference. 
The pictures are great. It's color. They didn't skimp on it. It's published by Strong First, who has a great website. A lot of instruction on their website. All right. So again, learn from the master. All right. Lastly, now this one is a little more advanced, but I recommend this book because number one, it gives you something to shoot for. Two, it's a very well-made book. Color pictures, glossy, well-written. And that book is the, the RKC book. Okay. Here's the back of it for you. But this particular book, Strength and Conditioning, and it's all kettlebell programs and workouts. I'll flip through and give you an example of what this one looks like. It's all color, and it ranges. There's a little bit of beginner in there, but most of what's in this one is a little more advanced. The, every chapter has a workout, or sometimes two, and they cover a wide range of moves and exercises. Again, some for the beginner, most for intermediate to advanced. But it's well written, and uh, you're, you're getting good information out of this book. This one's a little pricier. New, this book will run you about 40 bucks. I think it was like $39, $39.95. I think I picked this up used on Amazon for about 15. You can find them occasionally on thrift books and eBay for a little bit less, and I will link to them down below. But this is a good book. So I've talked a little bit about in my last video and this one about having a library of these books at home. And I'll, I'll touch on a couple of points as to why I think you should. Number one, right now, and this won't always be the case, we hope, right? But with the coronavirus, gear is in short supply. So even if you could find one kettlebell, even if it's a little too light for you, you can do more reps, you can do something aerobic with it, you can get a hell of a workout from just one kettlebell. So knowing you could find a used kettlebell somewhere, or hoping that you could, these books are plentiful on the internet. It's one thing we haven't run out of, right? The books are, some of them are, you know, printed by Amazon, uh, some are self-published. Most of these you can also get for your iPad or your you know, your e-reader. Um, I don't particularly like them very much that way. I don't like having my iPad back in the gym where I can drop something on it, step on it, sweat all over it. I prefer the books. Um, pages can always be taped back in. Um, there are people out there that can repair books. So I personally don't know anyone that can repair my iPad if I drop a 25 pound kettlebell on it. Um, but these are great. I, I, I can't say enough about having books at home. Now I have an enormous collection and I'll go through more and more of them. But picking up one or two on anything particular you're excited about trying is a great way to start. And they can be had very inexpensively. A lot of trading can go on too. I've got guys I work with that I trade books with. Um, that's why some of mine are in such bad shape. They just get handed around and handed around, which is fine, no complaints. Um, pages can be put back in, tucked to the side. But having books on hand and having them at home lets you try new workouts, try new exercises, try new moves, new complexes. Um, I can't say enough about having them. So this is a little series that I wanted to do was kind of focus in on different, like for example, today with kettle, uh, kettlebells. Next time I might do one on foam rolling or on medicine balls or just dumbbells. There, there are books out there for any particular niche or genre of workouts you want to do. Um, eventually, after I get a few of these in, I'm going to do some of the DVDs as well. But the books I think are great. Um, you can pick them up cheap, get what you want out of them, and you can resell them to buy a new book. Or you could be like me and hoard them on a bookshelf in the back and have so many you can't find what you're looking for most of the time. Uh, too many books is always a good thing. So if you have any questions about the books I've shown you today or you want to talk about anything that might be in them, I'm happy to answer anything. So post in the comments below. If you've got a set of books that you really like, let me know what they are on kettlebells for this video. Next video, we'll do something different, but uh, just tell me what you think. And if, as always, please subscribe. Please like the video. I really appreciate it, and I thank you for watching. And those likes and subscriptions really help me out. Uh, I, I can't say thank you enough. All right, so till next time, take care of yourself. Wash your hands. Have a good workout. 
and I'll talk to you later.